Boy, do I have a treat for you in this video. Mm. Chocolate. I love chocolate. And I love chocolate perfumes. Mm. There are some beautiful chocolate perfumes out there. And I have most of them in my collection. I'm still looking for even more chocolate perfumes. But I thought I would share with you my favorite chocolate fragrances from my collection and two that didn't quite work out for me. Personal preference. Anyway, if you guys want to know the best chocolate fragrances and some that are not great that I don't recommend, just keep watching. Hi my lovely people, welcome to another fabulous fragrance video. Like I said, I've got a treat for you in this video and most of you will not be surprised to see the first fragrance on my list. It's right now the most beautiful, the most delicious yet gorgeous chocolate fragrance. It is Le Chocolat by Shabu. You guys, this one is my favorite chocolate fragrance right now. I just love, 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 love this one. So this is the only one I'm going to spray because I'm going to make this my scent of the day. So let me spray this for you right away. This is one of my Oh, you guys, I just love the way the chocolate is really the star in this fragrance. And that right there, that's what I wanted from every other chocolate fragrance in my collection. I Don't get me wrong, I love them all. But none of them on my table here or anything else I've tested out there gave me the chocolate to satisfy my sweet tooth, you know, like my need, my craving for chocolate. It didn't satisfy that until I got this. Oh, it's, and it permeates through the, you know, the air and I just, I can smell it. It projects so well. And my husband, actually the first day when I received it and I sprayed it, he was like in the other room, like oh, like in the entrance to the other room and I was right outside. We were a few feet apart and he was like, that's chocolate, isn't it? That's a chocolate fragrance. And he could tell, and that's what I wanted. I wanted something that, you know, is deliciously chocolatey, but also very like beautiful. Now, go, don't get me wrong. This doesn't smell literally like chocolate, but you can tell there's like hint of chocolate is in there with this beautiful florals that this fragrance has. It has a, a gorgeous like a couple of white florals like jasmine, I think some other white florals, but there is something so creamy and milky about this because not only does it have chocolate, I think on two layers, like I think in the opening and in the base, I think you get chocolate and dark chocolate and then you get that the milk that that very you know milky milk chocolate kind of vibe from the lactonic accord you get from the milk so this actually smells to me very much like a milk chocolate okay in a very perfume kind of way it is the the perfume like the chocolate perfume i was looking for okay Honestly, I will be talking about another perfume here uh, very soon. When I first looked for that particular perfume, I thought that was going to be my chocolate perfume for, for life. But turns out, this is what I was missing for my life. Even after buying that, when I got this, that kind of got blown out of the water. Le et Chocolat by Shabu. Guys, I have a discount code for you. 
with the fragrance house shabu so i will link it down in the description box for you guys take advantage of it because you get some money off of it and it's not that easy to get a hold of shabu for a discounted price yeah some but not this particular one i've i've looked it's hard to find them though this particular one so my one of my next favorite chocolate fragrances is this one right here this is actually a chocolate vanilla fragrance this one is a van cleef and arpels orchidee vinnie you guys this is delicious i love this fragrance i'm actually tempted to layer these two today but oh this is again another one of those uh, gorgeous gourmet fragrances these are all obviously gourmet fragrances because it's got a very strong, you know, all of them have a strong, you know, chocolate note, but they're usually blended with other gourmet notes, you know what I mean? Oh, this is so beautiful. This is basically, uh, what do you call it? Vanilla orchid, vanilla and chocolate, okay? So that's what I smell the most in this fragrance i mean yeah there are other notes and i don't care because that's what i smell the most this is one of the most delicious vanilla chocolate fragrances this has got the chocolate accord is very you know very good in here but it is the vanilla that is more of the star in this fragrance but with a hint of deliciousness from the chocolate note so yeah this one's a good one too and here is another one that I really, really love because this is very sort of luxurious. This is kind of my like luxurious smelling chocolate fragrance. It is Bond Number no. 9 Tribeca. You guys, this one is very sophisticated. Not to mention, look at this bottle. It is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Mm, this is a gorgeous gourmet fragrance you guys and I don't even understand when people even begin to compare this in any way to Baccarat Rouge 540. It's beyond me just because it has one note that it shares with Baccarat Rouge doesn't mean it's gonna smell like it okay. This is a very gourmet fragrance in my opinion with that beautiful chocolate accord that it gets from the cacao note in here there's a there's cacao in here which is basically what chocolate smells like and yes this is gorgeous you guys that cacao note is just to die for in here to me that's the star and then mixed with the nuttiness from the hazelnut it really gives you that hazelnut chocolate vibes you know the nutty cho you know chocolate vibes with the beautiful you know jasmine in here and then the caramel in the base just adds to it. It's kind of like a, you know, chocolate, hazelnut, caramel type of fragrance. And yes, there's ambroxan in here. And no, just because it has ambroxan doesn't make it smell like Baccarat Rouge 540. So people smell the ambroxan and their head goes straight to Baccarat Rouge 540. But smell it, you guys. It smells more like chocolate and nut like hazelnut that's really what this smells like to me beautiful and then i have another one of my favorite um chocolate fragrances this one used to be my like one of my top favorite chocolate fragrances until i of course got my shabu one right here um this one right here is cacao porcelana by This is, of course, Cacao Porcelana by Atelier Materi. This one, you guys, smells like a boozy, chocolatey, kind of, you know, you know, sexy too, in a way, because of the Davana in here, because Davana makes everything smell sexy, gives it that sultriness. And this has the tonka bean that kind of adds to that, like, that chocolate, you know, with the, the strong, dark vanilla cord that it gives. And that central sandal, it's just perfect in here. But this does have um, patchouli. So if you're one of those people who really hate patchouli, I recommend this one right here. I mean, this is really the chocolate fragrance for you. Yeah, this is beautiful, but it still didn't satisfy my chocolate craving. 
it, it wasn't chocolatey enough for me the way this one is you know so this is beautiful kind of sexy and all that but it I don't know if I can call it like a really decadently chocolatey fragrance it is has the chocolate vibe but it's not chocolatey like this one and while being very gorgeous, like a perfume, you know? Then I have my longtime favorite here. This is Amouage Lilac Love. This is that gorgeous lilac and other beautiful purple florals that give that very powdery kind of femininity to fake fragrances, that elegance. And then this has the cacao powder, the that kind of actually adds to that powderiness here, which I think works beautifully. This has load of like tonka bean and vanilla, vanilla, so lots of vanilla. It has really pretty florals, you guys. I mean, there is the lilac, there's the heliotrope, which almost gives like a powdery almondy kind of vibe. And there's gardenia, jasmine, peony, rose, I think a lot of florals. Very, very femininely pretty. And it also has ours, which adds to the powderiness. So it's like a powdery chocolate powder with a perfume twist. So it's like a it's like a chocolate powder with floral powderiness that smells like a perfume, if that makes sense. It's very, very delicately beautiful. I love this for springtime in particular and sometimes in winter. But springtime really is my favorite time to wear this. It really just complements that early spring days that are still cold, but you know, like, you know, that, that's pretty and lilac-y, you know what I mean? Beautiful. Okay, here's the one I was talking to you guys about earlier that when I was looking for the original. So this is an inspired by fragrance um, from Juliana's perfumes, which I really adore. I think they are an amazing, um, what do you call inspired by fragrance houses that kind of you know replicate the originals sometimes that we can't find which is the case in this in this case i am so infinitely thankful for you know juliana's perfumes for having created this because we cannot find the original it's been discontinued it is of course the guerla la et la matière you know lines fragrance gourmand croquette you know and that is it's discontinued and that is a fragrance i have been looking for near and far for years and years and i haven't been able to hunt it down not even you know on those resale places you know macari and all that place i have not been able to find it for a reasonable normal price i am not paying 500 dollars as greedy as those people who are selling half of the bottle not happening glad that i got this and this one is just oh this smells amazing so if this is what the original smells like which i actually don't know and i hear from people who have both that this is very 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 close this is beautiful but there again it is a very strong fragrance but it doesn't it didn't give me the chocolate didn't satisfy my chocolate craving the way this did okay so i actually thought when i was trying to to get a hold of the original of this you know from gerla and i thought that was going to be my chocolate fragrance that i'd been looking for but it's not from the smell of this this is a beautiful perfume don't get, get me wrong and juliana's perfumes did a great job but this isn't the chocolate that I was looking for you know what I mean it didn't satisfy my chocolate sweet tooth this is actually a very spicy chocolate so I really wish that the spiciness was dialed down a little bit more so that the chocolate can shine more I feel like the warm spices in this fragrance kind of overtake the chocolate which you can smell but it kind of dominates or overpowers the chocolate accord in here, the warm spices. Now that's what I wish, you know, like I wish it was a little more toned down with the spices. I love the big dose of vanilla and amber in here. And I love, you know, it has like, I think benzoin too. So it's very vanilla-y. 
and I love that labdanum which gives it a kind of a leather cord you know I love all that and it's a very strong sexy perfume but it's not the chocolate you know that I was looking for it didn't satisfy my chocolate craving but it's a beautiful sexy perfume I hope to someday get a hold of the original but in the meantime I have Juliana's perfume one that that will keep me satisfied now the next one that I smell that chocolate in is this one this is black orchid by Tom Ford Tom Ford's oh I love this fragrance first fragrance okay they should never ever discontinue this this is a gorgeous this is how I describe it it's a gorgeous deliciously earthy chocolatey fragrance of course this has so many more chords lo loads of citrus chords that are syrupy like mandarin orange and all that beautiful florals like jasmine ylang ylang name it a lot of florals you know, orchid and all that loads of vanilla loads of amber a little smokiness even from incense and then this has that beautiful dark chocolate it's a very dark chocolate. It's not like your sweet chocolate, you know? And this is not a sweet fragrance, really. It's a very earthy, delicious chocolate, dark chocolate, you know? Um, the patchouli is earthy, and of course, the black truffle is earthy, which really complements the chocolate accord in here. So yeah, I consider this a chocolatey kind of fragrance. Then I have another very inexpensive one that I think is quite nice. This is uh, from the house, it's a Middle Eastern brand. It's Afnan, it's Mother's De. Um, this one, you guys, is a cherry chocolate kind of fragrance with fruitiness from berries. So this has a very noticeable raspberry note, which is delicious. So this actually smells like, you know those chocolates that have fruity, like dried fruits in there? Uh, like especially berries like raspberry like you get like raspberry ones and it's a little bit like little chewy you know what I mean so this is kind of what it reminds me so it's got raspberry strawberry with that cherry and the dark chocolate so yeah this is deliciously fruity chocolate uh, fragrance so it's kind of like a like a fruit chocolate you know so yeah it smells beautiful and then I have this puppy right here this one is from EBK Paris this one is a very strong fragrance okay this is one only for fall right now and winter I would say mainly fall because this suits the vibe the mood of the fall you know it's a dark gourmet this is like a strong fragrance you guys this has all these like nutty notes like hazelnut and like fruity notes like grape it, that the grape really in here the grape note is quite prominent the grape note like you know when you drink grape juice you know like that grape the artificial grape juice smell that imagine that with nuts and chocolate you know like hazelnut so it's a nut, nutty kind of uh, Great. If you if you if there was a chocolate that tasted a little grapey, like gr grape juice with nuts, you know, that's kind of what this smells like. This has some floral notes, interesting floral notes, some woody notes. It's quite woody too, but yeah, you can smell the chocolate. But unfortunately, that grape kind of overpowers the chocolate a little bit. I wish this chocolate. They. I wish that they toned down the grape juice vibe and heightened the chocolate more but still a beautiful chocolatey kind of vibe love this this is a very dark strong projecting beast mode fragrance so i don't advise wearing it daytime even in the coldest months in the fall wear it night at nighttime not a daytime fragrance it's very it can be quite offensive if you overspray it then i have another one that i love smelling the chocolate in this is Feuve Zelicieuse by christian dior this is the Privé line this has unfortunately been discontinued i will try to find it for you guys and link it down in the descri description box all of these fragrances will be obviously listed and linked down below and anything i have discount codes for i will be mentioning down below this is a very complex fragrance you guys i mean this has everything this has like chocolate caramel vanilla tonka bean leather it's even leathery kind of sexy kind of luxurious cherry floral notes like jasmine 
literally even lavender i think it's just a crazy fruit perfume with all these notes some moody notes too but mainly what i smell in this Ferros delicious are those chocolate vanilla tonka bean notes and i do really do smell and i smell the cherry but i do feel like i smell something herbally like you know like sultry herbally notes like you know not davana and maybe davana you know like i feel like i do but i do smell that chocolate that dark chocolate note in here that's delicious in the base the dry down of this fragrance is the best you guys it's kind of a powdery fragrance you know kind of cozy it's perfect for these fall vibes i do love wearing it this time of the year Fair delicious can't believe i almost forgot this one this is one of my favorites it's not one one that didn't work for me so everybody knows this one this is boss the scent private accord um this one is a very chocolatey fragrance it's actually everybody knows this smells like you know oranges dipped in chocolate you know there's a beautiful syrupy mandarin orange note in the opening has chocolate has a little bit of coffee it's actually cacao that's in here a little bit of coffee tonka bean and all that it's actually delicious smelling fragrance very nice chocolatey fragrance the chocolate accord is prominent it's a fruity chocolate you know it's kind of like a citrusy orangey fruity chocolate the only problem is that the performance this doesn't last too long you have to keep respraying yeah so mustn't forget this one okay now on to the two that i don't really love or didn't work out for me okay so don't my, bite my head off because i know there are a lot of fans of this fragrance out there which and i also know some a lot of people like me out there don't like it also so this is mancera choco violet i was very excited when i bought this because this is supposed to be very chocolatey uh you know I just don't love it, you guys. It's like right now I'm smelling it, I don't even smell the chocolate. I don't know why that is, okay? I feel like I have to spray this because I don't know why it's giving me so much trouble. I'm actually gonna spray it on its case. Um, I am not smelling the chocolate accord right this minute. Oh, now I smell it. So out of the atomizer, you cannot smell the chocolate. And like when you spray it on, you can smell the chocolate. But the chocolate in here is a very synthetic chocolate note. Now, don't get me wrong. Chocolate note is a synthetic note because it's not like you can, you know, squeeze something and get chocolate, you know, like chocolate oil out of it. Do you know what I mean? Like chocolate, a lot of the gourmet notes are synthetic. But what I mean is like, like the chocolate in here in Chabu, um, this one, in it's delicious it's actually smells like actual chocolate milk chocolate nonetheless but this one is more like a like a it, it, it reminds you of chocolate but it's like a very, very kind of artificial smelling chocolate you know it doesn't actually smell like a chocolate yeah it doesn't see smell it doesn't smell like a chocolate to me you know what i mean like it's it's the thing i I just don't know. I thought I was gonna love it because this has, you know, violet in it, which I thought would be a really good combination. You know how like this has kind of like lilac and, you know, cacao powder, which turned out to, turned it into a very beautiful feminine chocolatey fragrance. But I thought violet would be that beautiful powderiness, you know, with chocolate, but it, it, it didn't. I feel like in this case that the violet kind of added to the artificial smell in a way. And then that weird hazelnut. And I wonder if that's why it is. The nuttiness is a little too much in here. Like the hazelnut is very overpowering. You know, I feel like if they dial down the hazelnut, not a little bit, dialed up the chocolate and the violet, this would have been really nice. And of course, make the chocolate note smell a little bit more like actual, you know, chocolate in real life instead of like a synthetic version of it okay here's one that some people may not agree with me obviously it's a killian fragrance and i love killian fragrances but this is one of two only two killian fragrances that didn't work out for me i don't know if you guys saw my killian collection video killian happens to be the single fragrance house that i have the most number of perfumes from that was a question you guys asked frequently Yes, Killian, I have like 20 Killian fragrances, you guys, and I love them all except this and Back to Black. 
Now this is of course Black Phantom, um, you know, rave reviews, like a lot of women and men love this fragrance. It's a very dark, almost gothic kind of gourmet. You know, that's really the best way to put it. This is a very like, I mean, you can even tell by the bottle, this is the old version of the bottle. Very gothic kind of like, you know, vibe. It's a very dark, vampy kind of fragrance. Um, very kind of uh, gourmet in a kind of a um, gothic, dark kind of way, you know. It's not necessarily sexy to me on a man or on a woman. It just gives me the dark, gothic, vampy vibes, honestly. It really is the only way I know how to put it. So this is actually chocolate and coffee. I can smell the coffee in it. It's got a, a little bit of booziness. It's a very boozy, coffee-ish chocolate. So you know those chocolates, if you've ever had like really boozy ones, like with like brandy or rum in it, and you get, it's kind of like got a little coffee too, you know, coffee chocolate with booziness. That's what this smells like. But there's something even darker about it. I believe there's, it, it may not be listed in the composition, but I smell patchouli. Definitely has a bit of patchouli vibe in here, but not, it, it, it's not kind of adding up the same way it is in here, which this also has chocolate and patchouli, but this smells delicious, deliciously earthy, chocolatey, right? Whereas this one is very sweet, by the way, and it's kind of a vampy gothic chocolatey, very sugary, like I said, very sweet. There's literally sugar in here very sweet perfume something else in here i'm trying to think oh yeah i think there is uh caramel in here too that makes it even sweeter so yeah some heliotrope and almond which both give like an almond accord you know and then the heliotrope adds to a little bit of powderiness too yeah i don't i don't love this it's very dark and vampy and gothic uh, you know what let me spray it a little bit where do i spray it i don't know i mean maybe i'll spray it on the other end of the choco violet here choco violet cover i mean yeah see it is overly sweet and very patchouli um i don't think the patchouli in here is revealed but i smell patchouli like it's overly patchouli now this is one of, would be one of my few, one of the few times I agree with uh, people who don't like patchouli in their fragrances, which I don't agree with them overall. You know what I mean? This is one example where patchouli didn't quite work with the other notes in here. There's all that like sugar in here, the bucket of sugar, the 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 coffee, the caramel, the all the sweet notes with the booziness. It's a little too much for me. I know people, there are people who swear by this and find it very delicious. I, I kind of get it. It is kind of delicious, but it's a little too gothic for me, okay? So yeah, it's Black Phantom by Killian. Um, it's a good chocolate fragrance. It's just not for me. This is just one that didn't work out, me, work out for me. The same token, there are a lot of lovers of this fragrance, the Choco Violet, a lot of lovers of this fragrance. That doesn't mean it's going to work out for me. You know what I mean? That's just not my vibe. But you guys, that is it. Those are my top favorite chocolate fragrances and a, a couple that I don't quite love. So let me know down in the comment section what your favorite chocolate fragrances are. I am always on the hunt for more chocolatey fragrances. Please don't suggest to me like a fragrance that just has a chocolate note that just you can't even smell the chocolate, right? But I want chocolate fragrance. I want one like this that is that is chocolatey, satisfy my chocolate craving, but at the same time makes me smell attractive. See, that's key, you guys, and this is why I don't like this one. This may be a gorgeous masterpiece fragrance, but it doesn't make me feel attractive. It doesn't make me smell attractive. The whole point of perfumes is not to have a masterpiece alone, right? But it needs to make me smell more attractive, what it, which it, in my opinion, doesn't. It gives me kind of, kind of like not the vibes I want, you know what I mean? So whereas this right here gives me the chocolate, but makes me smell deliciously attractive and alluring and all that. And it's very, very sexy. So yeah, let me know your suggestions for chocolate fragrances that I don't have in my collection yet. I would love to hear from you guys. 
always always love the back and forth um if you guys don't talk to me i don't really like i don't really know what you're thinking what you want what you want to see next by the way give me some video ideas down in the comment section you know ideas that you know videos that you want to see in the future just let me know down in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I upload a lot of fun, short, digestible content. I will see you guys in my next video.